what's going on sweet gang it's your girl rochelle coming to you back with another video and i come to give you life in this video today this is a review video on how to package these decorative and somewhat oversized candy apples um, and as you see before you, you have the baby bottom and you have, yep, I still have this apple, the stuff, um, candy apple. Okay. I want to come to you guys and give you all that I know. Okay. If I don't know it. I will definitely refer you to somebody that do. But being that we're your sweet connection, <laughs> we're going to come and connect you with the real and with everything that I can give you. So if you haven't already done so and you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about me. Share me. Don't be stingy. Share the love. It's coins out here for everybody. But I'm one that's going to help you in your treat world, your treat business as best as possible so um we're gonna do a review on well not a review but just come in to inform you on some of the supplies that i use that i order um that may help you in your sweet world and in your sweet journey okay to better help you in your treat business okay so um a lot of questions was asked and um uh, how do you package uh, this particular apple? Well, it's certain packaging. Also, when you package, I will definitely tell you, you want to package, um, uh, not wisely, but you want to package um, for the appropriate uh, apple. If you're doing an order and this particular order, you, it's going to be box and it fits in this size box, which I'm going to go into in a minute. Um, it will not fit in this box because it is actually too big. You got legs and all of this detailed stuff that's on this uh, baby bottom would not fit in this size apple. I mean, apple box. Um, you can add bowls to your boxes, um, but most importantly, when packaging. Um, for your customers, you want to be detailed in your packaging. And I will definitely do a video on t about doing contracts, how to present it, um, and all of that. I will definitely um, help you in your sweet business. Um, but uh, as I grow in my channel, <laughs> uh, I appreciate you all and thank you for your love and support. Um, I will get you there. It's the best way I know how. Um, so... With these apples, these particular apples, I'm going to give you information where you can purchase and get the best price from. This is where I order my supplies from um, and a lot of different treat makers um, as well. This particular box, we're going to start with the smaller one. And this particular box is a 4 by 4 by four inch okay this is one of the smaller boxes this is one of the normal boxes that um, app treat makers apple makers purchase or use when doing candy apples um, whether it's a stuffed apple now if your stuffed apple is bigger then you gonna convert and put it in this box but this box is a regular candy apple box that comes with a pre pre-cut hole that you can insert here I'll show you guys see that you can insert here to where you have your straws to go through okay so these are very good and these you these clear boxes you can purchase from clearbags.com and you look for the order number for the 4x4 
I'm sorry, for the four by four by four by four. That's what's going to be listed um, under the description for the ordering. And it comes in a set of 25. And the order number is F as in Frank, S as in Sam, five, six. You want to find that at clearbags.com and that's how you order these. So this is the four by four by four. And we're gonna get into the baby bottom. Okay, as I slowly turn. This particular box, this is like an extra size box here, okay? Extra size box here, as I turn, this is how the baby bottom is packaged. And also, I usually have it on a cake board, but my cake boards that I have are a little bit too big to go in here. So it's too big for the bottom. So you want to put it on a smaller cake board. If you want to decorate your cake board and put it in there, you can do that as well. But you want to find a smaller cake board to put your candy apple on and place it in your um, apple box. This apple box size is 6 1 4 inch by five and a half inch by seven five eight inch and that order this order number is p as in paul l as in larry b as in Bar barbara one zero six it also come in a set 25 and it is also purchased by um sold by uh, clearbags.com I love that company and this is the bag the box here so that you can see this box here is much taller easy to open not for me uh -huh. right now but it's easy to open as you can see and that's that box so it comes in a set 25 and the same for the smaller box okay all can be purchased at clearbags.com now um, for the apple sticks the apple sticks can also be purchased I know everybody been waiting for this what sticks do you use yes it's the sticks that I use for my apples your apple sticks come in a pack like this okay this actually is a pack of 100 sticks, and these are wonderful. I love these. I love these. I love these. I love these sticks. These are the sticks that actually um, are used for the apple, the um, apple straws. Well, the paper straws. Okay, these sticks are purchased at bamboo imports minnesota and you can go to finding the website uh, bamboo imports mn dot com that's bamboo imports m as in mary n as in nancy dot com you can go there. I will put this all in the description below. And you can order your supplies. These are the supplies that I use um, when I make my apples. I don't use anything different depending on whatever I'm making at that particular time. Do I use thicker um, sticks? Yes, I do. Um, for this particular box, the bigger box... You have to 
use a, 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 a glue gun to put a hole at in this box. This box does not come with a pre-made hole, but the smaller box does. So you want to keep in mind you want to pre-make you want to make your hole for this particular box. Now if you are doing the um, wedding apples, they can go in this box if depending on the size of your apple. So keep in mind, don't go get these big old boxes if you're not going to use them. Get your standard size box and they do have some boxes that are bigger than this one. So, also I want to demonstrate to you I know everybody loves the baby bottom, and I have a whole lot of requests. Whole lot of requests. Everybody wants to see me cut into this apple. So, as you wait for me to cut into this apple, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, let's get to cutting. Ooh. This is my favorite. And I'm going to cut for you. Straight down the middle. Y'all ready? Ta-da! This is day... Oh my goodness, I gotta see what day is this. Day. It may be day four, day five. But I just want you to see, okay? That no longer, this stuff may be good on the outside, okay? But look here. This is why I said to you guys in my previous video, no longer than two days. Okay? No longer than two days. Whether it's buttercream, pecan cream, cream cheese, or cheesecake stuff. See that? This is why I say no longer than two days when you do these stuffed apples. It may look good and appear good on the outside. Looks good. All of that looks good. Scrumptious. Now just think if this is buttercream. So just think if this was uh, cheesecake. Okay. Taking all this good stuff that appears to look good. But when you go through your apple Look at there. Okay. So, as I stated, no longer than two days. When you're doing the, the cheesecake stuffed apples, buttercream stuffed apples, it's all up to you. Um, what you want to fill in your apple. But no, the shelf life, no longer than two days. Please, if you treat makers and you love what you do, have some integrity about yourself and your work. And make sure you respect the, your customer enough to present them with good product and assure them how long. It's nothing wrong with giving them the information on this. You know, so it's very important. So this is why I come to you to show you all what is the after life of these stuffed apples okay it's your girl rochelle i just came and gave you life the pump breath in your body if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video i have those request videos that have been in my comment section keep them coming they are on my list so show some love and i'll see you in the next video bye bye